Hello, this is Rich, and in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create your very own flow graph node for the CryEngine SDK. It's pretty simple. All you really have to do is create your own node class, register your class to the flow node system, and then you can go ahead and use it in the CryEngine sandbox editor. Let's get started. Let's open up the CryEngine solution, and the first step we need to take is to create our new CPP file. You don't really need a .h file, a CPP file is all you need to create a node. So let's go ahead and open up the game project, and we're going to go to game files, and we're going to put it right into the pack filter here. Right click, add, new item. Now, I'm thinking the node we should create is some sort of listener. Earlier in the other tutorials, uh, you, we created actually a mine entity, and we actually placed that mine when we press left click, if you remember. Now, it would be pretty cool if we can get notified whenever the player or anybody spawns a mine. So that's what we're going to do. Our node is going to listen for anybody placing a mine, and then it's going to output who placed the mine and uh, the actual mine that was placed. So I'm going to name it C Flow. Mine listener add. We're going to have to include our stdafx and the include file for creating our node is under the node subdirectory g2 flow base node. And the root class you need to derive from is a c flow base node template class. So let's go ahead and create our class here. And we're going to name it c flow mine listener. Then we're going to derive from the public c flow base node and it's a template. Now there are a couple of types that you can choose, a type of node you want. You can have a singleton node which no matter how many nodes that you add of your class into the flow graph editor, it would only refer to one instance of it. So it's all a singleton, only one instance. Or you can do an instanced flow node which allows you to keep adding different nodes and each one is separate from the other. Normally you're going to want instance. So we're going to type in instanced here. ENCT underscore instance. Beautiful. And we've added these here, so let's get rid of it. Now, nodes do have a special signature that is needed for the constructor, and it goes as follows. It needs one parameter, and it needs to be the S activation info pointer. P act info. Wonderful. And then we need to register our class with FlowGraph. Very simple. Outside of our class, let's go ahead and use a macro that CryEngine provides for us called register underscore flow node. Now, the first parameter is the category in name you want it to show up into the FlowGraph editor. And we will do one called packed. Put a colon to signify that the first packed here is actually a category. And if I did another the, that would be another category, so it would be pack, the, and then your flow name. But you can keep on going with more and more categories. But we just want one. Pack and mine listener. I'm going to name the node. Okay, second parameter is your actual class. So C, flow mine listener, and semicolon. Beautiful. You've now created your own custom node class and registered it, and you can actually use it right in the flow graph editor. In the next part, we're going to actually be adding some logic and talking about entity events and how you can receive different things about entities. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.